Today I will test cheap storage VPSs from five different providers. Alvison, Alvison, I don't know how to pronounce it, Green Cloud, Host Hedge, Light Server, Server Factory. Okay, so first let's talk about price. Alvison costs 7.74 euro, but that's with Austrian 23% value added tax, and you might be eligible for 0% depending on where you live. Green Cloud costs $45 per year. There is no option to pay on a monthly basis. Light Server is the most expensive expensive one because it costs 12 euro per month. Server factory costs 5 euro per month. Host catch costs 5 dollars per month. If we now add specifications to the table, we can already see some differences. Light server and Alavision give you way more traffic. Alvison and Green Cloud should have the most power in terms of CPU and RAM, but now let's test how they perform in reality. First, let's take a look at Geekbench 6 results. Green Cloud has the best single core performance by a huge margin, more than two times better than Host Hedge. If we take a look at multi core performance, yeah, huge difference. Now, random reads and writes. Here, Server Factory takes the lead, and Alvison is just slightly behind. Host Hedge result is bad, but if you want to store big files like backups compressed in archives, then this result is still ok and you won't notice it. The sad thing is that read and write performance on big files is just abysmal on Host Hedge. It's not fast enough to utilize 1 gigabit internet connection. Now, network performance. All of these VPSs are in Europe. All except Austrian Alvison are in the Netherlands. First, let's take a look at maximum throughput to France. All of them are great, and here we see the first really good result on Host Hedge. Now, let's take a look at connection speed to New York. All results are great, but Server Factory is noticeably slower, and if you need to retrieve backup from different continent, it will be noticeably slower. Backups hosted in different continents is something that I really recommend doing, by the way. Now, ZSTD decompression speed. Worst result belongs to Host Hedge because of this awful CPU performance. Same trend continues with ZSTD compression time, and sadly both Host Hedge and Server Factory's performance here is bad. Like, really bad to the point where you may not use compression at all because it's just so slow. Redis benchmark. I have no idea why I benchmark it, but you have <laughs> results either way. AV1 encoding benchmark. Now this is important. If you have a library of videos that can be compressed, you may want to upload them to VPS and then transcode them to AV1. Green Cloud performance here is amazing. If your videos are in 24 frames per second, then it can transcode up to three streams real time at once. But be aware that every provider has some CPU fair usage policy and you cannot do 100% load 24-7. Now let's test the real world scenario. You want to download a big file from another server. How fast it can be transferred? For that test, I've rated Hetzner instance that has 20 gigabit connection and is hosted in Germany. All results, except ones from a light server, are good. I did this benchmark the next day and the results did not change. Something is really wrong here. It shouldn't be that bad, but I will give you guys an update in a pinned comment if they manage to fix it. Ok, so after testing I've waited 24 hours and pushed this downloaded file on each storage VPS to yet another Hetzner server. By doing so I've given time for this file to be pushed away from RAM cache into disks. And now we are testing the most important thing in storage VPS, how fast backups that are 24 hours old can be retrieved from storage VPS. Almost all of them were great. 10 GB file retrieved in around 1-2 minutes. Amazing, but host hatch was way worse. 4 minutes. It's still a good result. It's still usable. But that got me thinking. Why even though their network performance is amazing, the real performance of disks is so bad? I was tinkering for a while and it's not disk performance that is bad. It's CPU performance. Just look at CPU usage when uploading one file and doing nothing else. This CPU is pegged to the max and network transfer speed is just going up and down, up and down. This is the real cause of all problems that Hoshatch has. 
and you know what? They could fix that. This node has Xeon E5 2620 V3 with 6 cores and 85 watt TDP. They could install E5 2630 V4 with 10 cores and also 85 watt TDP. Multi core performance on this 10 core CPU would be around 60% better. That is quite noticeable. And you might ask how much this upgrade would cost? Around $9. Yeah, fix problem on whole node for $9. They should do it, and I hope they do. Of course, it's not that straightforward, because that will require them to turn off server and replace CPU, which takes some time, and customers would be happy about that. That is a great topic for discussion. What is more important in storage VPS? Better performance or couple hours less downtime? Would you be okay with plenty downtime of storage VPS if that could improve its performance by 60% and you will notice that improved performance, let me know in the comments because I'm very curious what you would choose. And that can be a great piece of information to any provider that is thinking about upgrading their storage node. So to summarize, what provider should you choose? Alvision is my choice, a little bit more expensive, but it is worth it with such great CPU performance, 2 GB of RAM and 15 TB of traffic. Green Cloud CPU performance is amazing, they give you 3 GB of RAM and the price is also amazing, but they are saving a lot of money by giving you just 3 TB of traffic so they can manage to give you such specs at such price. If instead of just cold backups you want to work on actual data that is on storage server or you want to host Plex server, Green Cloud should be your choice. Light server is sadly too expensive for what it offers, yeah they have 20 TB of traffic but for 12 euros, uh, you can get 2TB disk somewhere else. I love their transparency and it's something that we need to respect, but I hope they will give us at least one more reason to spend 12 euro for 1TB disk. Maybe 10 gigabit networking, maybe 10 gigabit NVMe as a boot drive. Server factory storage VPS is not that impressive, but it is balanced. 2 GB of RAM, 4 TB of outgoing traffic with unmetered incoming traffic and pricing is on the lower scale. Server factory is not a big brand and if you like to support the underdog that gives you good value, go with them. Host cache, I expected something a little better than what I received. Single Xeon V3 core paired with RAID 60, where CPU needs to calculate parity data, just won't cut it today, even for this price. And you know what is funny? I had high expectations because I already have another storage VPS from them. 2TB, $110 for 3 years, which ends up at bottom low pricing. But it was limited time deal, of course, that they posted on Lowed Talk forum. This cheap 2TB storage VPS has way better CPU because it has AMD Epic, and on that $110 deal, server performance is way, way better. But now I paid way more per 1TB and I got Xeon V3. This is a big problem that they need to solve. I shouldn't be put in such old node. If there is a capacity on these old servers, just make promo like you like to do. Hostcatch is known for amazing prices when they have promo on Lower Talk Forum. And it's just bad that higher margin products that they have displayed on page have such awful performance. I just shouldn't be placed on this config for this price. At least that's what I believe and uh, that's what benchmarks show. Sorry that I end this video with kinda negative vibe, but yeah, let me know what do you think about the situation and what is your favorite storage VPS provider. That's all for today, have a nice day.